Hi there! Today we're going to talk about the distribution strategy. So we're going to tackle the key elements of a distribution strategy and we'll go through some examples to clarify the why behind choosing one strategy over another. A distribution strategy is the plan or the methodology used by a company to deliver its products to its customers. It's also known as the go-to market strategy. That plan outlines the steps and procedures that the business will follow to move products from production facilities to end users. That strategy plays a significant role in the marketing mix as it enables a company to maximize market share, increase sales, and achieve sustainable growth. A distribution strategy includes several key elements, so let's go through them one by one. And number one is distribution channels. And these are the pathways through which the products will pass to reach the end consumer. They can be direct involving only the producer and the consumer or indirect involving intermediaries like wholesalers, retailers, or distributors. Number two is the distribution intensity. And this refers to the level of market coverage that a business aims for. And it can be either intensive, selective, or exclusive. Intensive distribution aims to distribute products to as many outlets as possible, and we often see this with everyday items like snacks or soft drinks. Selective distribution, on the other hand, uses a limited number of outlets in a specific geographical area, and it's often used for high-involvement products like mobile phones, watches, or cars. And then we have exclusive distribution, and that kind of distribution uses only one or a few outlets, such as a flagship store, and it's often seen with highly luxurious or specialized goods. And the third element is the logistics and supply chain aspect. And these aspects deal with how the physical flow of goods will occur. And it includes transportation, warehousing, inventory management, and order fulfillment too. And the last element for the distribution strategy is pricing. Now, distribution has a big influence on the pricing of products and services. For example, the use of intermediaries and the cost of transportation, storage, and delivery can all impact the final price of the product to the consumer. Now, we will go through some examples of different approaches to distribution and explain why these companies choose that specific strategy over the other ones. And the first example is Coca-Cola. Now, Coca-Cola uses an intensive distribution strategy. The company's products are virtually everywhere. Supermarkets, restaurants, vending machines, online stores, and many other places. Their aim here is to provide their products wherever customers might get thirsty. And note that this is, by nature, a low-involvement product, meaning that customers don't spend much time to think about it and it can also be easily replaced if consumers don't find it near them. It's often an impulse choice. Coca-Cola understands this, and that's why they ensure that their product is as close as possible to the consumer by partnering with as many intermediaries as possible. The second example is Apple's selective distribution strategy. Now, Apple products are mainly sold in Apple stores, Apple's website, or authorized dealers. Apple exercises tight control over where and how its products are sold to maintain a consistent brand image and product experience. Notice here that the nature of the product is completely different. It's a high involvement product with a relatively high price and users here are willing to spend some time considering their options. And when they finally do, they're willing to travel to the store or wait for the product release as it's not easily replaceable. And that's why Apple chooses that strategy knowing all those things. Example number three is Amazon's direct distribution strategy. Amazon started as an online bookstore, bypassing the traditional retail distribution process by selling directly to consumers. And as the company expanded its product offerings, it maintained its direct distribution strategy, using its platform to connect with consumers directly. Amazon's direct distribution model was further enhanced with the introduction of Amazon Prime. 
Um, this is a subscription service offering fast, free shipping on eligible items, among other benefits, of course. By handling the warehousing, distribution, and delivery directly, Amazon is able to maintain control over the customer experience as a whole, from browsing to purchase and finally delivery. Note that online shopping's main perk is convenience, and that's why Amazon wants to control the full experience from browsing to delivery, and that's to ensure that their platform is the go-to place for a fast and convenient online shopping experience. And the last example we have for today is Ferrari's exclusive distribution strategy. The well-known Italian luxury sports car manufacturer produces a limited number of vehicles each year to maintain exclusivity and a high demand. These vehicles are not just sold anywhere. Instead, they're only available for purchase through a network of carefully selected authorized dealerships. This exclusive distribution strategy allows Ferrari to control the customer experience and maintain the high-end image and prestige associated with the brand. The authorized dealers are trained to provide a shopping experience that aligns with Ferrari's luxury brand image. Note that Ferrari's target customers are typically people who aspire to be trendsetters by making strong social statements. Ferrari understands this and creates that sense of scarcity with its distribution strategy to increase the perceived value of the product and make their customers feel like they're part of a VIP club. A distribution strategy is a crucial part of any business's overall marketing plan. It involves deciding how to effectively move goods from producers to consumers and the many steps along the way. It's of course influenced by the type of product, the target audience, the market, and the overall goals of the business. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that you're now ready to create your own distribution strategy for your product. But if you have any further questions, we're happy to help. Just drop us a comment and we'll get back to you.